We're gonna squeeze it out as, as a pile of wood. This is our brand new pepperoni pizza. Lunch is served. That's if you're flying a U-2 spy plane at 70,000 feet above the earth. They want a pepperoni pizza and you know, we do the best we can do. And the best is exactly what they're doing at the U.S. Army Natick Soldier Systems Center, also known as Natick Labs. We have apple pie, yep. hash browns with bacon. Food technologist Dan Natris and his team have come up with 19 different food products for these elite pilots. One single mission can last up to 12 hours and food a critical part of being able to complete it. And the only way to get the, uh, the food is to use this specialized package here. The pilot will squeeze the contents of those packets through a tube while never having to remove their life-sustaining helmet. The challenges for those here in the kitchen, creating a portable food product that the pilots will enjoy in a paste form. Uh, the hash browns and bacon, it took us three tries to get that where we wanted it because we had a really good idea where we wanted to go with it. How about the pudding? That was easy. That was another easy one. You heard that right. On today's menu, caffeinated chocolate pudding. This is a very popular item with the pilots, as you can imagine. I would imagine so. Enjoyed equally as the sweet treat is that added caffeine. Probably right before they land, or maybe an hour or so, they're going to take the caffeinated chocolate pudding, and it's going to give them that jolt of awareness that we need every morning when we get up for a cup of coffee. Tough to pull over to the Dunkin' Donuts. There is, there's no Dunkin' Donuts at that altitude, no. It's understood that the work done on the ground in Natick plays an important role in keeping America's spy planes flying on the edge of space. I think about how difficult their mission is, how important it is, and uh, we really strive to make them happy as much as we can. Every few years, Natick Labs conducts a survey with those U-2 pilots. It's through that feedback in which improvements can be made to existing food products or even come up with some new ones. Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.